This footage shows the USS George Washington aircraft carrier in a strange cloud that appears almost like a force field. The ship, however, is actually undergoing testing of its aqueous film-forming fire suppression system. During the process, a proprietary substance and water are used to decontaminate the surface of the Nimitz-class carrier. This test caught on film was conducted between May 11th and 12th, 2015, providing essential emergency practice in case of a fire or attack featuring chemical, biological, or radiological weapons. AFFF The countermeasure washdown systems or fire suppression systems on American Navy vessels are a crucial defense component intended to mitigate damage and control the spread of hazards aboard the ship. Testing of these systems is key to maintaining them. The USS George Washington's Damage Control Division in charge of the system uses a product known as AFFF, or Aqueous Film Forming Foam and Seawater. The combined substance is ideal for combating fires on board caused by explosions, attacks, or accidents. It works by smothering the oxygen supply available to the flames. Furthermore, as it covers the ship's exterior in a coat of the substance, it prevents the entry of potentially harmful contaminants. Testing For the test, the U.S. Navy had the crew members use a combination of 6% AFFF with 94% water, which was sprayed over the hangar bays and outer skin of the vessel. To cover the necessary area, the George Washington requires about 2,000 gallons of AFFF. After the solution was used to cover the ship, it was then sprayed with seawater. Damage Controlman First Class Walter Daly explained, quote, Testing is performed throughout the hangar bay, flight deck, island, and fantail. These are the areas where a CBR attack or serious fire are likely to occur. In preparation for such a test, the system requires 200 maintenance checks of a preventative nature to occur beforehand. While all parts of the system are under regular maintenance, during the countermeasure washdown test, they are all used simultaneously. The only other time this would happen is if there was a real attack. Walter Daly further spoke on the use of conducting such tests, saying, quote, My sailors spend so much time and energy maintaining the ship's firefighting systems that it's exciting to see everything working like it should. We look forward to this every year because it shows our hard work paying off. The USS George Washington and other carriers like it conduct regular trials to assess crew readiness and evaluate equipment status. The concentrated solution for the countermeasure washdown system is only sprayed about once a year, but checks on the system happen each quarter. After testing, the substance must be rinsed and scrubbed so that it doesn't corrode any of the carrier's metal parts. Furthermore, exposure to AFFF for a prolonged period of time can be hazardous to the skin. Therefore, the crew members participating in each washdown test are required to wear weather suits, gloves, and goggles for protection threats. The system is designed to control fires and to wash down the ship should it ever be under chemical, biological, or radiological attack. Sometimes testing takes place near storms or rainy areas so that natural water will finish rinsing the vessel. USS George Washington's Damage Control Assistant Lieutenant Commander Morgan Ames stated, quote, The tests ensure that we have fire and chemical, biological, and radiological fighting capabilities. In the event of a major catastrophe, we'll know that we'll be able to combat the casualty. Should a U.S. naval vessel come under a chemical, biological, or radiological attack, the crew may be ordered to set Circle William, in which all exterior openings are sealed. For the Navy, quote, Fittings that are marked with this classification are those that provide ventilation opening to the outside of the ship. Circle William fittings are marked with a black W surrounded by a black circle. In addition, the washdown system is likely to be deployed. In fact, water curtain defenses are nothing new to the U.S. Navy, as demonstrated in this 1953 naval training film, Chemical Warfare Defense. At the time, a primary concern was the containment of radioactive fallout, but the film also addresses chemical and biological weapons responses. A key segment tells soldiers to pay careful attention if they, quote, want to live through a nerve gas attack. <laughs> 